We call the November 26, 2019 uh, Newton Planning Board meeting to order. And we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. At 7.05. <laughs> <laughs> I will note that there is not a quorum present of, of, of uh, either voting members or, or potential voting members. <laughs> um, so because there is not a quorum of the planning board, what that unfortunately means to our applicants here for 93 Amesbury Road is the planning board can't <coughs> even take up your application. So I'm the circuit writer planner for the town, so I'm not a voting member, I'm just an advisor to the planning board. I know you got my email regarding some of my comments I had um, regarding the application. There wasn't a lot of information, so I'm going to give you some information you can consider bringing to the next planning board meeting or submitting additional information. A little bit more detail about what you're proposing to do I think may make a very big difference in your application. You wrote that you were wanting to do some heavy truck repair. Yes, so if, if there's more detail, like it's a single truck or you're mainly doing office work and your truck is held off site or anything of that level of detail where things might be stored, I would really recommend putting that or supplementing your application with that information. Uh, I think that may make a difference. Could you get up to the podium oh, just yeah. so, so that we can, we can ca ca catch it on television? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, they can't really comment on the application, they can't make any decisions about it. My advice is to bring a little bit more information because I, sure. I think there might be more, more to the story than in your application and that may make a big difference as to what's allowed, what might be a concern, what might not be con a concern. Right, yes. Um, so that would be my suggestion. Okay, I appreciate that. And the planning board would be able to put this on their next regularly okay. scheduled meeting, which is December 10th. 10th. Okay. So that Tuesday here, same time. Okay. Um, and hopefully, because it would be continued Ten. business, would be the first or one of the first items on okay. the agenda. Yeah. Yeah, this is a public hearing. Yes, that was part of my comments for that. Um, the site is located on the aquifer, and how because that, of the aquifer, how that, how that may be a concern. That's why I'm um, advising additional information. With that being said, um, what about uh, if there's trucks there having a uh, grease trap in the shop? Is that is because of the trucks outside? Are you guys saying or because um, I, I see that oh, the potential toxic hazards? Um, my advice would be to really document what kind of servicing of the trucks you'd want to be doing there. Okay. How many trucks? If mm -hmm. it's just one, that might make a difference. Mm -hmm. um, and also look at the town's aquifer regulations. They're available on the town website. Okay. Um, there's detail in there about why potentially an automotive use or automotive repairs may be a concern. Yes. Um, you may be able to alleviate the board some potential concerns with the board by having more detail. Okay. Um, you may you may not be able to. I don't want to. True. Yeah. Give complete hope or false hope. Right. Um, so that's there's why no I hope suggest yet. <laughs> Generally, though, um, automotive and hazardous and potentially toxic chemicals being done in a best management practices, which if you work with cars, you probably are aware of, yeah. is a better situation than just doing them not using those practices. Right. Okay. Understood. So, so we'll bring in more information. Is there like a new form I can fill out with like more details? Or? I actually think you could probably put it in a letter. Okay. Or if you need to put like showing where you're putting things on um, the sketch that you already provided, maybe adding okay. that sort of detail okay. to that sketch you already had. Yeah. Okay. Um, and if you can, can either email them into the board or drop them off ahead sure. of time, yep. you do it in the next couple of days, that gives the board time to look at things ahead of time and also need to look at things ahead of time before you show up at the meeting. Okay. Perfectly fine. Understood. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for you guys' time. <laughs> Apologies about the lack of the <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes 
pictures help too, like of the existing building and yep, you know, pictures color help. pictures? And you can also right. contact me. You have my contact information on that email. Yeah. So feel free to shoot me an email okay. if you have a question or give me a call. Sure. And it's 7 again, 7 o'clock again. Yes. Yeah. Do we have to correct this? Do we have to correct this? Yeah. Okay. Substantively. Yeah. Substantively correct? It says accessory apartment, not I business. Know, <laughs> it does reflect that they are seeking a conditional use permit at Something. 93 Amesbury Road. <laughs> you certainly could notice it again. Um, if it was noticed on the meeting, that certainly is additional information. That's all right. I'm good. Okay. Is there anything else we can do? You want me to go through the warrant articles I had emailed to you just to explain them? You can't move on them. You can't. Right. Everybody yeah. received it, them in the packet. Yeah, I, I don't have any questions because we, we've already talked about all of them. Mm -hmm. the, the only question I would have had is the way you wrote up the one for the fire station. Pro, 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 yeah, for proposal two. Uh, would it be better to say something like, add the following lot to the list? Um, when you were to put it to warrant, yes. Um, the way I wrote this is that the um, bolded language is language to be added, crossed out language is language to be removed, existing language is normal text. Mm -hmm. If you were to submit it to warrant and have it be on the warrant article, you would certainly write it as to add the following to appendix yeah, A. Yeah, right. Um, sort of like for the proposal one, you say to add the following to section 10 of right. the okay. ordinance related to variances and so forth, such mm -hmm. expiration. Um, most of these are short enough that you probably could just put them in the warrant article without just doing a summary. Right. Um, just for folks that, um, the last one, Proposal 3, um, to have the um, building codes and fire cones just reflect the most current codes. That was a request of the fire chief um, last week or maybe shortly the week before. It was after the last planning board meeting. Um, so I did put it on here for the board to consider. It's a fairly simple change. It's somewhat editorial, but it does require a warrant or a vote of the voters. So. Those are the three proposals. Okay. Any other comments? Mm -hmm. From anybody? <laughs> so if there is potentially need of an extra meeting, it's because of meeting calendar dates. There may be, um, because of when you have to have your first hearing for any more articles. The one caveat to that is that if you think that there will only be one required, only require one public hearing, you could possibly push it out and not have the extra meeting. I don't really think these would end up resulting in two public hearings. I don't like to typically say, well, it, it certainly will only take one because you never know. Right. So that's a risk you could, you could hedge your bets. Um, I think you're probably safer to schedule an extra meeting in January before the 10th. Sorry. 13th. The 13th. I might be messing up my dates. I'm going to go with Roger. <laughs> because we missed by a day. <laughs> That's right. We need to have the first notice by the 13th. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we should do an extra one. So, I would okay. need to get notice of that around just to make sure it gets on people's calendars. I, I would suggest the sixth. Okay. Um, you know, I think but, but when we have a, a, a quorum to um, to vote on moving it to public hearing, we can we'll set the date at that point. Yeah, it, it might be worth um, having Jim email board check with other just, people just to see if the sixth may be in a possibility, so you're not scrambling right. on. Yeah, because I. I, I uh, 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 on the 10th, we really do have to make a decision. Yeah, just, <laughs> you know, and if We're, there might be another date that might potentially work, just consider people's availabilities for right. two days, just in case. 
Mm-hmm. There's always Christmas Eve. <laughs> there is always Christmas Eve. You're on your own. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> you've got the right color shirt. You've got the beard. You just need to get your hat. Bring up presents, that's all. <laughs> just have them bring up presents, that's all, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? I can't let you know we did receive a letter from Plasto Act asking for complete information on uh, the 125 Dalton Court. And I did forward her everything that I have. Okay, good. Anything else? Guess not. Got a motion to adjourn? <laughs> motion to wish everybody happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving to all. Motion and to we'll adjourn. See you in two weeks. Did we make a